Welcome back to American Agenda. It's time now for the other view. Former President Donald Trump is warning Republicans that if they donate to Nikki Haley, they will be permanently barred from the MAGA camp. The former president writing on Truth Social, we don't want them and will not accept them because we put America first and always will. Well, no surprise, this has the women of The View all riled up, and they say that Haley needs to keep poking at the former president. She's needling him. I do think women get more under his skin, and he can't help himself. Like, if you do, don't look at his social media accounts. It's dozens and dozens of, like, fever dreamish screeds about her. He's going to make himself implode, and when, when the public sees that more, I think that is going to drive down his approval ratings. Mm -hmm. Even among Republicans, get, it gets to a point where it's like, it just gets annoying. Yeah, interesting. Uh, joining me now to discuss this and more, Project 21 member, political activist Whitley Yates and digital media strategist Liz Willis. All right, Whitley, I'm going to start with you here. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that Haley should keep up, keep the pressure on the former president and stay in the race until the bitter end? I mean, I think that's what democracy is, right? And it's her money and other people's that support her money to lose. I don't think that she should just withdraw because everyone else has. However, if she continues to lose, I would think that that's a reckoning on her campaign. But I do think as part of democracy, her wanting to continue to stay in the race, I think she's hopeful that he'll be removed from the ballots and that will be um, her ascension into the Republican nominee. Liz, do you think the former president is being a little harsh by saying that he's going to ban people from MAGA camp if they continue to support, support Nikki Haley? No, I don't think so at all. Nikki Haley is taking Democrat donors. President Trump wants nothing to do with their dirty money. He doesn't want to accept it. And another reason why I think this is a great idea is President Trump likes loyalty. It's really not even about the numbers. President Trump went and finished Q3 of 2023 with $37 million in his campaign. Nikki Haley had a mere $11 million. So it's not that he needs the money. He doesn't need it. He doesn't want it. And he's just not going to mess with people that are flip-flopping on issues as big as a presidential election. All right. I like that you pointed out how much he likes loyalty because he certainly does. want to move on to this, however. The controversy surrounding the Barbie movie and the Academy Awards continues to be a big pop topic on social media and beyond. And it's actually getting political. Some Democrats are weighing in on the fact that director Greta Gerwig and star Margot Robbie were not nominated, including Hillary Clinton. Here's what she wrote on X. Greta and Margot, while it can sting to win the box office but not take home the gold, your millions of fans love you. You're both so much more than Knuff. Then she signed it, hashtag Hillary Barbie, um, which the whole thing cracks me up. And I, of course, I want to see her in a pink suit immediately. Many on social media blasting Clinton for making this about herself. And some saying she's even equating it to her losing the 2016 election. Whitley, your take. I mean, I think we've had enough of Hillary and we've seen that time and time again as America has rejected her. But the truth is the Barbie banter is just that. No one is entitled to win an Oscar or to be Oscar nominated. So Ken receiving that nomination, congratulations for him. This isn't a feminist moment and you shouldn't be entitled to things that you did not earn. I agree. The uh, Oscars should not be a DEI situation, but still other Democrats, even men, saying, come on. De Texas Democrat Congressman Joaquin Castro, he's talking about it, too. How do you end up directing the biggest hit of the year, a cultural phenomenon, and not get an Oscar nomination for best director? Be a female director in Hollywood, apparently. I don't know. What do you think, Liz? Well, I mean, I think he's got a point there, but we have to keep in mind, these Oscars are voted on by the Academy. These are industry elites, a group of 10,000 people that are voting. And if you think these industry elites, AKA Hollywood elites, actually care about women individually or playing fair, then you're extremely misguided. But that's exactly how um, Barbie didn't get an Oscar. I mean, it's you look at who's voting, and they, they really don't care about women's rights. They never have. It's the left that pretends to. They pander to women. But at the end of the day, they are not voting for women. Well, I don't know. I thought the Barbie movie was great. But, you know, sometimes the movies that I like, other people don't like or the Academy doesn't like, and that's how it goes. And oddly, this person agrees with me. She doesn't think the Academy snubbed Barbie. That happens to be Oscar winner and View host Whoopi Goldberg. Take a listen. 
they're not snubs, and that's what I want to sort of point out. And it's not the elites, it's the entire family of the Academy Awards who vote for Best Picture yeah. nominations, okay? We all vote for Best Picture, everybody. Mm. So there are seven to ten nominations that happen. And you don't get everything that you want to get. I, I mean, I Whoopi sounds practical, and I could not agree with her more. Whitley, the last word for you. You know, I, for the first time in my life, agree with Whoopi Goldberg. I can't believe I'm saying that here on Newsmax, but she's right. It's not a snub. You don't always win. That's the spirit of competition. And again, art is subjective. All right, we're going to leave it there. Whitley Yates, Liz Willis, thanks so much for joining me on The Other View.